I think the first most important thing to address when we talk about complicated twin pregnancies is first to clarify whether or not the twins have one or two placentas. Because even that primary necessary observation is sometimes not known when a patient's first assessed. Twins who have two separate placentas are essentially two singletons in the uterus at the same time. So an anomaly in one doesn't pose a risk to the other. When twins share a placenta, it's a much higher risk pregnancy for all. One of the very rare complications of such a pregnancy is twin reversed arterial perfusion. And in that setting, there's one normal fetus, structurally normal fetus, who is supplying blood both to the placenta, which is necessary for its own nutrition, but also through connections in that placenta, sending blood in an abnormal reverse direction toward a mass of tissue, sometimes referred to as an acardiac and encephalic. Obviously, the malformed twin is not going to survive, but there's a significant risk to the twin who's donating his or her blood to the other twin. And so this is another condition that can, that has a very high mortality rate if it's not treated.